Innovator. Um, this is a microwave oven transformer. Um, it's from a broken microwave, however, fortunately, it was only the electronic dial on it that broken. That broke, not broken. So, this is working, the magnetron's working, and I still have the capacitor. Although I took out uh, the center winding in this thing, so I can't run it. But I wouldn't want to anyway. Originally, I was going to turn it into a um, spot welder, but I was having too much fun with it. Doing exactly what you'll be about to see. So, yeah. I'm running it through a... Um, I'm running it through a surge protector that breaks at 1,875 watts. And like I said, this is an OBJY2 transformer, which is 1,100 watts. So, yeah. Gives you a little bit of leeway. It's unballasted, has nothing... Oh, and by the way, you should wear, um... You should wear a welding mask or welding goggles because it emits UV rays and sunglasses don't cut it but it, it won't like immediately ruin your eyes but if you do the, if you did this every day for like 10 minutes it would it might cause some damage it's kind of like welding you can do it without but it's not a good idea so yeah hopefully this doesn't because although it's running through a surge protector surge protector doesn't always work and sometimes it will just um Sometimes it'll just break the, break the house breaker, and then you'll need to reset it. So it doesn't always work. Hopefully it won't do that. You hear a slight hum. Just really be careful. Damn it, it's sticking. the breaker yep now I'm in the dark so yeah it doesn't always work so yeah There we are. Okay, so I think that's enough of a demonstration. Although it's difficult to see because... Oh, whoopsie. Got to turn off the light. Although it's difficult to see in the video because it's so... It's so ungodly bright. Underneath the mask, you can see the arcs are about four to five inches long. And they're quite long. So I can't imagine how long they'd be if it was resonant. So yeah. That's the OBJY2 transformer in demonstration that's my chicken stick it's made of plastic please do not use metal if you make your own chicken stick it's as simple as it looks um so yeah it completely bypassed it it didn't even switch off um so yeah that's a demonstration of it it's it will heat up but right now it's not even it's not even warm at all um you should check on it to make sure it doesn't get warm because I've had it lukewarm before, but if you did this constantly, it might get hot. So just be careful of it. Um, these things are very, very difficult to break, actually. I mean, like, even if you touch them together for three seconds, all that'll happen is you'll break your housebreaker. Like, it's they're very, very robust. So yeah, they're very fun, just... Please don't kill yourself. The, like, these things are very capable of doing it. It's 2,000 volts at around half an amp, so that's stupid power. And you see it. It's, it's just 
it's a ton of fun, but it's just, you kind of have to know what you're doing. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is going to be my video for this week. Jesus, I need to make more frequent videos. If you're, if you're already one of my subscribers, great. But um, if you're not one of my subscribers, it helps out. And I think I'm going to start doing streams at 6 o'clock p.m. on um, Fridays. Or, I don't know, just stream whenever. I don't fucking know. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Peace.